It's your girl, VK Johanum, and the V stands for Vidian. Tonight we're talking about Maya Shirai. I am often asked on Patreon and during YouTube live streams to go over the basics of what Maya Shirai is, as well as how to get started with Maya Shirai and sorcery. I've already dropped a video both on YouTube and on TikTok explaining how to get started. Now I'll drop a video giving the basics of what Maya Shirai is. So it all starts with the being called Akraoth. Um, there are different opinions on what the connection between Satan and Akraoth is um, that you'll get from different Maya Shirayan practitioners. My view is that Satan, Shaitan, Sanetas, and Sanesatas are all echoes of Akraoth, who came before them. So Akraoth is the first being in Maya Shirayan cosmology. Um, it never speaks in human tongues. If you try to summon it, it probably will not come. And if it did, you would probably die of cerebral hemorrhaging. Um, but Akraoth has 13 incarnations, little aspects, avatars that you can summon more safely. And these are called the Blighted Lords and Ladies of Maya Shirai. The 13 Blighted Lords and Ladies rule over the 13 um, sub-regions of Maya Shirai, one of which is Karaktis, the inf which is the Maya Shiraian underworld plane. Now, one of the Blighted, the one who leads the rest of them, is Cernobog, who the who Slavic polytheist depicted as the god of winter and death. His name means the Black God. Um, another is Zazazel, not to, be not to be confused with Azazel. Zazazel rules Karaktis, the underworld plane. And weirdly enough, he was once a human magician like us. Somehow he ascended to a level high enough that he became an avatar of Akraoth. Um, obviously, it's not unheard of for human magicians to become demons or deities or whatnot, but Becoming an avatar of the first being is pretty fucking wild. Um, so there are 13 subcategories of Maya Shirayan magic, known as Towers of Apotheosis. Um, and obviously, each Tower of Apotheosis is linked to a given subregion of Maya Shirai and is governed primarily by a given blighted lord or lady. Now, each blighted lord and lady has their own court, a group of, like, demigods who essentially rule below them over the sub-realm that they govern. Um, when people get into Maya Shirayan magic, usually a given one or more Maya Shirayan entities will volunteer to be that person's patron demon or demoness, um, it might be one of the blighted lords or ladies, and it might be one of the demigods that rule under them. Now, one of the blighted is named Eliverin. She is the spider queen. She governs the Draylith. Um, the Draylith are a type of the Fey, and the Norse pagans knew them as the Svartalfar, or Dark Elves. Um, in Dreadwood's literature, he presented a language, a fictitious language from an RPG attributed to Dark Elves. He presented that as the true language of the Draylith. Um, the leader of the Cabal, the group that um, follows the Blighted, he told me that Dreadwood did this because he didn't want to release the real language of the Draylith. Um, I have found that the spells using those, that fictitious language, work quite well. Um, and, you know, good luck pronouncing the true language of the Draylith anyways. Um, it's possible that there's an element of symmetry magic to the use of a fictitious dark elf language in approaching the Draylith. Maybe not. Could go either way. Either way, his spells work fine. And the uh, Mayor Jirai and spells that I'm releasing on Patreon will not be using that same fake language. 
Um, but yeah, most of the Blighted are not spoken of in magical traditions other than Mayor's Ryan magic, as far as I am aware. <clears throat> um, the three chief Blighted are considered to be Zazazel, the former human magician, Cernobog, the leader of the Blighted, and Eldraeoth, who is presented as the queen of demons before Lilith herself. Um, her realm is primarily populated by Meijerian succubi and Meijerian incubi. Um, I have spoken to various Meijerian practitioners who also work with the Cliffoth and or Goetia, and we all agree that Meijerian sorcery is more potent and dangerous than Cliffothic Goetic magic. But yeah. Anyways, that's all for now. Have a great night and enjoy your immortality. I've already released some Mayor's Ryan spells. We'll see how y'all feel about that material, y'all Patreon supporters. Because um, I can go back to teaching other shit too. I've got plenty more Mayor's Ryan material that I can schedule for release. But I've got other options too. Give me feedback.